Prince Harry has just been criticized for his treatment of veterans in his documentary Invictus. As an additional episode, allegations of this were shared by The Telegraph. The author of the work, Ed Power, weighed everything and provided aid. Part of Invictus' problem is that it's trying to do two things at once. That case is even considering the fact that Harry and Meghan understand that their participation is the big draw. They're basically brands at this point. And so Invictus founding patron Harry seriously applied for an insensitive interview with the bushy beard and ready to go. But in doing that, the author accuses the duo of turning the entire show about themselves and not really about the Invictus games. He even said that it's all, not all about the Invictus games, even though it contains all the revelations. Prince Harry tells us about his family in isolation from Buckingham Palace. Before concluding, he also said, how is that possible? Because although the struggle of the veterans described in the first part is ultimately extremely emotional, unfortunately, they act as filler between the Harry things, and it seems everyone involved knows that. It comes as a source reveal that the wounded warriors are not receiving any benefits, any money for the 2022 games, and athletes who appeared in Harry's Heart of Invictus asked Terry to explain why they were not credited. Meanwhile, Harry tries to take all the credit and is called upon to acknowledge Kate and Williams' help. Harry introduced it, telling the audience about the sacrifices veterans and their families have made while serving their country. He's listed in the credits as an executive producer of the series, which was made alongside Harry and Meghan's Archwell Productions. The film itself is directed by Orlando Van Adel and produced by Joe Natsa, who collaborated on the Academy Award winning short film The White Helmets. In the cast, Harry is the only actor actually listed, while many of the athletes and veterans who starred in the film were omitted, and they weren't even listed in the Harry and Meghan documentary series. The others appear to be odd, right? Her IMDb profile includes so many royal events, they're just behind, but couldn't be bothered to credit the people who were integral to the actual series. Without disabled veterans, there will be no Invictus. Many question Harry's lack of transparency. It's not that Doster's general purpose is to shed light on the Invictus games within the organization. It looks like the only one in this is Harry. Prince Harry, to be exact. Is this financial work so athletes don't expect to get paid? Is that a union requirement? What is this? Sadly, they're just props. Not that I've seen the incident, but I'm disappointed that we've never even heard of the competitors. There is no breakout star that they want to use to promote, like John Doe. He lost a leg while serving his country in Afghanistan, but that didn't stop him from performing this impressive weightlifting move in the Invictus games. The Heart of Invictus movie was a huge disappointment for all the great veterans. They were completely ignored, but Harry's name was all over the place when he tried to be the great director of this movie. Where did the money come from to make this movie? Netflix. But I guarantee that money from Invictus games was used to make it. Henry needs to be disqualified for participating in these games. It's for veterans who have overcome their injuries. The veterans pledged allegiance to the crown and the country, something Henry doesn't know very much about. Harry has absolutely no regard for veterans. Veterans will never receive money from this movie. Harry was very sure about that. It's all about him, and it's all about Meghan.